Good evening, family. This is Liani. Say morning. <laughs> and today's video is um, unmasking. Is it easier said than done? Uh, do you want to start first? Um, yes. Um, it's uh, um, over time. It 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 it, it it's still it becomes a little bit easier, but it's still difficult because because for us it's very it's hard for us to get through the simplest things. It, like like so, so, something that is prepared for the morning or a work day. So for us, un, 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 unmasking is not as easy as people think it is. Well, you got to speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so just say for you, um, is it easier said than done, or is how do you how do you deal with unmasking? How do I deal with unmasking? Is is, is that I I I, I, I slowly. Eat ease into it i don't let it come out for full blown because because this thing this thing can be a struggle to manage okay so when is an instance that you are hesitant or or you try to manage if you will uh unmasking um what what it, what it is is that because i have a tendency of um thinking out loud or or talking to ourselves as we as we do um, I try to keep that under control so I don't I don't lose concentration or focus. So it's more so concentration for you, not that you're embarrassed, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but do you feel more comfortable when you're at home, like just, you know, yeah, doing your thing? Yeah. Like stemming and, and such. Yeah. Okay. And for me, uh, well, thank you for sharing that. No problem. And for me, um. I think it is based off of comfort too. I'm trying to do it more because we've done it. We've masked for so many years that I don't even like, I've been told when I was grown up, don't do this. Don't do this. Not that my parents knew at the time cause I'm a late diagnosis, but they saw things and different things, but they didn't know that's what it was. Cause nobody talked about it back then. I'm like, I was born in 1985. So nobody talked about it like that. You didn't even know Well, we didn't. I never had heard the term or anything like that. And no, Usually they call people crazy or, you know, retardation or other things. So for me, I didn't even know anything of uh, such of those words. But now it's more aware and, and knowledgeable about the things. But what I will say is that because I was told so much, like when I was being myself or doing certain things, and I didn't know why I was doing them, but I was doing them and was told, don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. that you know, um, now I'm having to unlearn that that it's not as easy as it seems it's not easier said than done where sometimes it will just come out and then other times i'm like oh oh i shouldn't do that or i don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable then i'm thinking well why would they i don't have to think about somebody being uncomfortable if i'm going to be uncomfortable and stressed out or about it later or something like that so i'm trying to get more comfortable i'm more comfortable at home or around people that i trust but people i don't know um I would find that sometimes you run into people who are like, oh, you know, like they um, are irritated by us, not us as, you know, us, but meaning people who have a disability or things. And that's a personal thing with them. We pray for those people. Um, they don't know any better. So you just pray for them. But uh, I'm pretty... I'm pretty like a determined person. Like, no, nobody's going to hold me down. Nobody's going to keep me from this. Nobody's going to tell me what's not. And God bless you. Thank unless you. it's the Lord, our God, that's who I take instructions from. But people, especially since God created us this way, I'm not going to be embarrassed of this. I'm not going to shut myself out. If you're uncomfortable, then maybe you should excuse yourself, but I'm not going to excuse mine because God created us all for a purpose and with a purpose. And I'm going to carry that out. I'm going to walk this out because somebody needs to see probably. So I'm not going to let anybody silence my voice or make me feel like I don't belong when I was born. So clearly you, me, others like you all, um, ADHD, autism, you know, bipolar, all of these people, they're, they're here. You're supposed to be here. Any, whatever your disability, God can give you the strength and the ability to do the things that we just can't naturally do. But um, it is easier said than done, but I'm working on it being easier. I'm trying to do the best that I can with the strength and help of the Lord our God in Jesus Christ's name. I am trying. So, because I want to be myself in I've not 
been myself for years. So now I want to walk in, my tr- in the truth of who I am, who I was born as. And it's all autistic. You too, right, babe? That's right. So we're not going to make this a long video because I don't like talking long. I don't like cameras um, and things in my face. But to you all who are watching, if you have anything to say, leave messages, comments, your experiences, how you do. And don't be ashamed. Be wonderfully autistic. This is Liani. Good morning. Have a great day, guys. God bless.